Welcome back to Exploring Whiskeys. I'm Eric. I'm Kevin. And today we are doing the last of the signature Kirkland's whiskeys that Kirkland's you signature have. series. Yes. All right. So dyslexic, whatever. Anyway, Hopefully we'll have more this. here in a couple weeks. Right. Yeah. You'll, <clears throat> you'll be heading up through Kentucky and maybe grab a, a scotch or something. Hopefully. Maybe. We'll see. Some or a bottled and bond or a Barton stuff. Yeah. yeah. But this is their Tennessee Sour Mash Whiskey. So this is, I believe, from the same people that do their, what is it, the seven-year bourbon? Mm-hmm. So Columbia, Tennessee. Yeah. So Tennessee Distilling Company down in Columbia, Tennessee. They do this one, but they do it with uh, the Lincoln County process. So they do filter it through the sugar maple charcoal. So I was reading a bottle we had the other night, that Daddy Rack. Mm. It's the one that uh, Janich brought. Okay. It's made by these guys really yep <laughs> let's see so we know it's we know it's four-year-old whiskey mm-hmm. we know it's 80 proof unfortunately and we know it's a 1.75 for 24 dollars 24 bucks <laughs> well there you go. drink it neat use it as a mixer do whatever you want when, <laughs> that, it, when price point. that much for 25 bucks yeah i got a little little dribble that's as you can see, it's been enjoyed. Yeah, it's an easy drink. Yep. It's a very easy drink. Nothing's wrong with it. Nothing's outstanding about it. It's mm-hmm. just, it's solid. Light nose. Pretty yeah. light nose. Little, little sharpness or ethanol i I'm not sure. They do... All right, they don't release the mash bill. They do talk about the mash bill for other products that they produce. So 70% corn, 15 and 15 for the rye and the barley. Yeah, it's it's light, little little sharpness. That's about it. Very, very sweet. Like candies. Yeah, there's a lot of sugar notes. Yep. A little bit of fruit. I get a touch of, I don't know if it's mint or spice towards the end. I get that on the nose at the tail end from like, if you go top to bottom. It's a spicy, minty note. Yeah, there's a little bit of a, like that rye herbal note type thing. I I don't know. I don't know. There's not much else to talk about. Uh, It is a sour mash. I think what, Jack Daniels does a lot of sour mashes. They're they're all sour mashes. So all that means is. They do it too. Yeah, they're a sour mash as well. They're taking some of the old distillate and using that as a starter in the new distillate. That's about all that is mm-hmm. um, in the fermentation of the new, the next batch. It's kind of a whatever, a starter for kombucha, sour bread, the, all the kind of the sourdough bread. Yeah, sourdough, whatever. Kind of the same idea. Started off with the similar yeast and, and that kind of stuff. No, until we started drinking these, I've never even heard of the place in Columbia. No, totally agree. It's I never just, shown up on a radar. I just always thought their stuff was dickle. Like, but it doesn't doesn't have the funk. Doesn't come off as dink, uh, dickle. I, I, there's no that dusty peanut. It doesn't have that funky, weird corn smell to it. There is a little bit of a wood impact is what I'm going to say, like a char note, mm-hmm. probably from that filtering. It's not get more ethanol now. like Jack Daniels. It doesn't have that banana nut muffin type weirdness. Mm-mm. It's actually not, it's not a bad Tennessee whiskey. I, I wish the proof was in the mid nineties. That'd be nice. But uh, I, more along the lines of like the uncle nearest ones. Right. That are, you know, mm-hmm. really solid whiskeys, Tennessee whiskeys, but they're not, they don't have just some of the weirdness that some of the other ones have. Mm-mm. I think it's gotten, like, there's more ethanol now as you kind of go back. Let's see if we can do some water. Yeah, let's throw a drop of water. So it's 80 proof, so it doesn't need water by any means. But water will, at times, open it up and add a flavor or two. Let's see what we get out of that. But overall, 
the palate is just super sweet. Mm -hmm. That's the really the main note is just a lot of sweet whiskey notes, fruits and sugars and caramels and hmm, you get a little more barrel impact or wood note on the nose. But I feel I feel like it lost the fruit. Now it's just more the vanilla, the caramels, the sugar. No, no fruit note. Okay. Yeah, with it, but well, I don't know. It's still sweet, but I don't. It's get, still sweet. I don't get that fruity. A fruity, yeah, or even like even a, like a real candy note. It's mm -hmm. more of a like you said, a vanilla caramel. But I, I'm getting a little bit of the mint still that rye herbal mm -hmm. note, and more wood char, kind of through, all the way through from the nose through the palate. I wouldn't say pepper or any of that, like for rye notes, it's not spicy, it's not peppery. Mm -hmm. It's more of the herbal part side of the rye. I like it better without the water. I think it had a little more body to it without the water. A little more, yeah. a little more something. It's not horrible with the water. To your point, for the price, you want to mix it. You use it as a mixer. You, you can do whatever you want for a $25 <laughs> for almost you know, what, a 1.75, that's just a silly amount of whiskey for the price. Mm -hmm. But that's kind of the Kirkman way, so. All right. More bang for your buck. Mm -hmm. No, no. Overall, it's a solid whiskey. Uh, I think overall their whole lineup, relatively solid. Some are better than others, but for the value, you're, you're never going to beat the value there. I mean, out of the ones we've done so far, the twelve-year Scotch oh, is yeah. up there for me. Mm -hmm. The the seven-year bourbon from that company from from this com company yeah, in Columbia, very Tennessee, good. and then I would probably say this over the one the one we did that they got from seventeen ninety two. Yeah, that the, the small batch was really came off as young, mm -hmm. really Harsh. sharp, and so was the. The blended scotch, the non-age statement blended yeah. scotch. That was, came off as pretty young and sharp and just not, I don't know, not blended well. Whatever it was. The Irish whiskey was at the very end, very end for me. Yeah, the Irish whiskey just was, yeah. ugh, like it had nothing to it. There was no body. There was just, eh, it was just. Eh. I put it out the other night and I don't think anybody. Nobody touched nobody that. Nobody touched it. Nope. Everybody enjoyed the 12-year yeah. scotch. Because that's good. It is. So anxious to see if we can get a hold of those. Other ones from Barton's. Yeah. You know, with the bottle and bond and the single, single barrel. barrel. Yep. And then, I don't know, maybe they've got another bottle out. Another whiskey or, or another bourbon. They've got a Canadian, apparently. Just saying. If they got it, I'll get it for you. <laughs> <laughs> got to get a whiskey that'll go below the it, Irish, it, right? It, yeah. <laughs> well, it comes with the show. Yeah, absolutely. Exploring whiskeys. Explore them all. So, Though, I think, all in all, we've done one Canadian whiskey ever on the show. I think, at this point. I'm good. <laughs> yeah, it was not. <laughs> so, Well, again, this is all we've got to this point. Again, I'm making my way through Kentucky here in a couple weekends. Swing through the old Costco and see see what I can get. Yeah. Hopefully, got, hopefully I'll get a few more. Hopefully, we can, I can get those older scotches. The 20, awesome. with a 20. 20, a 22. 22 and a, the 23 is supposed to come out in December, technically. All right. I don't know if they, they, no. they might cheat they it might early. On, they might have to be on another trip. But... We'll see. But again, I think overall, I, from a price standpoint, I don't think you can go wrong with any of them. No. It's really kind of what your palate is. Hope you enjoyed our review. Um, if you did, as always, we encourage you to hit that like button. And I don't know, I would imagine maybe Kirkland's got something in other areas that we just can't get here. Maybe a different bourbon or a different whiskey. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, if, if you they know do, something, something else. Some other... Yeah, whiskey that we've missed that we maybe just maybe out west don't I know. They're, they're doing something out there. That's a possibility. It so, might be a little bit regional. If so, let us know. We'll see if we can track down a track one to do track a bottle that you down and do on the show. Yeah. Also, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, hit the bell icon. You get notified every time we put on a new episode. Let us know if there's another store that does like a lineup of whiskeys. Maybe we can figure out a way to track that down too. That'd be interesting. I kind of Trader Joe's does whiskeys, and there's a few other Aldi. ones. Aldi does a, yeah, exactly. We have both those stores here, but they can't sell liquor. They can't sell liquor, so. Just cheap wine and cheap beer. Yes, <laughs> that, that they can sell. 
All right. Thanks for watching. See you on the next episode. Cheers. Cheers.